What types of skills put you in a position to be a chief technology architect? Sure. Well, I think for this type of role, you need to have a development background or some sort of engineering background. That's, that's, that's a prerequisite. Um, you need to obviously love technology. It needs to be something you do in your spare time, not just for your job. Um, and, but yeah, and then of course you need to have been uh, first, you know, designing technology, developing technology, and then move up the ranks in essence. You don't have to have necessarily run a team, I don't think. Yeah. Um, but definitely architected systems, architected large systems, develop product on your own from scratch, taking a concept and said, I, okay, I can turn this into reality and I can, I can architect the software properly to uh, make this real. Yeah. I think those are all prerequisites. In this particular role, there's another element to it, which is um, a public facing element to it. So, you know, not every architect or technology person maybe is uh, comfortable in front of a crowd or in front of other people, period. Um, so at, at this level of the game, I feel like you need to get out there and meet with people and be able to get in front of a crowd and articulate your thoughts properly so that a person who is uh, not an architect, not a developer can right. understand uh, where you're coming from. Yeah. So.